how long should you wait to check your blood uh, testosterone levels after changing your dosing protocol? I like to say eight weeks as a minimum for any changes to testosterone cypionate. And by changes, I mean whether it's dose, frequency, uh, ester, anything. Any change, any variable change to the equation with cypionate, I like to go eight weeks. The reason for that is the half-life of a medication multiplied by five gives you the time frame required to achieve what is known as a steady state. So with cypionate being approximately seven days, and it's approximate because the pharmacokinetics tell us that it's seven days, but the pharmacodynamics, which is how the body reacts on the medication, varies from patient to patient. So it could be six to eight days, but let's call it seven as, as, as an average. Seven days times five is 35. So you're looking at 35 days to achieve steady state. And right there, you're looking at about five weeks. Then you're going to go an additional three weeks or so or a month to make sure that you're living in that steady state and you can kind of feel and see the changes. And that's when you want to pull the labs. Now you have your subjective feedback of, hey, I've been living in this steady state for a month. I know how it feels. I can report to you. And then you have the objective data, which is, hey, I've been in a steady state. Here's what my blood tells me. So I would say eight weeks should be a sweet spot. Definitely no less. If you want to go longer, again, as long as you don't make any additional changes, you can go longer than that as well. If you wish to support the channel, consider becoming a channel member and check out the links in the description of all the things I'm associated with. My ebook on compounded testosterone cream, multiple workout programs, Mizumi skincare, online pharmacy NP labs, and a list of Amazon links to the supplements we recommend.